Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't done so, why don't you hit the little subscribe button down here? It does help us out. Sometimes in the shop, we get customer requests for repairs. It's not necessarily what we'll diagnose, but it's what the customer has asked for. In today's video, we received a PS4 that the customer asked us to change out the HDMI chip. While I felt that this particular PS4 had deeper issues, I'm more than happy to do what the customer asks. So stick around and we'll show you how to change that chip. Okay, on the bench today, we have a PlayStation 4. This is the original type or the fat, or whichever one you wanna call it. And it came to us because it has a problem uh, with its HDMI output. Now, there had already been a fix on the, um, the actual HDMI port, and the owner feels that, you know, possibly that the HDMI chip has given out. Now, on the Xbox One consoles, it seems like the retimer chip with the HDMI is a fairly common issue. Um, although the PS4s do have a known issue with their HDMI um, mixing or output chip, it doesn't seem to be as widespread. But I told them that we could definitely try to replace the um, HDMI chip. And there are a couple styles, but you know, here's two of them in a little package right there. So we'll uh, crack this open and we'll get the board out and we'll see if we can get uh, some video off of this one. All right, let's open it up. And it is. The thermal paste, it's not, it looks nice and wet still. So this one did, one of the, the problems I have is the fan was plugged up. And if you can see here, not on that shell, on this shell. You can see the plastic is basically melted on the outside of the shell. And this was from the back side of this. So this board has gotten extremely hot. So changing our HDMI chip may not solve the problem. Oh, and this little guy here, if you can see it, don't lose it. It's, it goes in the bottom of the board and it's one of the power supply screw holders. <clears throat> and we can remove that little shield. So there's our HDMI and it's been replaced. So if you give us a minute, I'm gonna get the microscope so we can get a better look at all of this. Okay, we got, uh, we got this under the microscope. Uh, and one of the things, since we don't have any HDMI um, when this port was changed, I just wanted to come in and double check these pins to make sure they're soldered down and they're coated, and they're not bridged. All you gotta do is put a very fine pair of tweezers in. And I know the microscope is, you know, giving a good view on this. All right, let's see. Okay, everything is soldered, there's no bridges. So that all looks good. Okay, <clears throat> so we're good there. So the thing we're gonna be tackling is this guy. So I guess what we should do is check those filters to make sure they're not shorted out or we have any problems there.
Hmm. Oh, no, there it is. All right, that filter's good. Okay, those filters are all good. I guess I need a finer set of needles. Um, I mean, I know it's hard to tell, but, um, you know, that's how small the parts are we're working on. So that's why, you know, we go under the microscope for these guys. All right, so here's the chip we need to replace. Um, where is it? There we go. All right, so these are not a trivial thing to replace. Just make sure we got the right one. Four, seven, two, nine. Four, seven, two, nine. Okay, we're good. Um, there is a couple different styles for the PS4. So I'm gonna get our hot air ready and um, we'll get started. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay. Set the microscope a little different. And we'll get our hot air going. Now, one thing we'll want to do is get a little flux in around this chip. It will help get everything flowing. Okay, we're up the temp. We'll turn our air down just a little bit. There we go. I really hate using as much heat as I do. I had that set up at 485 Celsius, which is a little over 900 Fahrenheit. But that's what it takes to, to get these chips to move on lead-free solder. Now, on that note, what we're gonna do is put some leaded solder on the board so we don't have to use that much heat to put our new chip on.
that ground sucked all the heat right out of the tip. Okay, everything's nice and clean. Let's clean away our burnt, our burnt flux. It's just a little IPA on a cotton swab. Get our new chip. chip and as always flex is our friend especially when working with the small stuff that now we don't need since we're using leaded solder we can turn our temperature and our hot air down something I'm going to deem as a safe level, a safer level. Sorry for the old man glasses. It, when you're working with these small parts, you just, you have to have the magnification. All right. Take a quick peek and see what that looks like. Okay. That looks like it's nice and centered. We can just see our solder joints just a little bit the whole way around. All right, we gotta let that board cool before we can do anything. Um, and here again, here's our old chip. <laughs> I guess it didn't do anything where my microscope's at. Um, there's our old chip. I can set that aside. And we're gonna kind of just take a break here for a little bit, um, just so we can let this cool and come to temp, you know, to room temp, and we can clean around uh, the HDMI chip, and then we'll reassemble and see if it works. But unfortunately with this board, um, 
I'm not sure if it's going to come back to life because I feel that the rest of the board's been very overheated. But, um, you know, we'll keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. I just wanted to show the procedure. Okay. Um, I put it all back together. Um, you know, I don't uh, have high hopes because of the overheating issue. Um, but I left our cover off just so I can hear if the hard drive's starting to crunch. Um, we got it all hooked up. Um, and I had to go grab a uh, PS4 controller. So let's keep our fingers crossed and see where we're at. I'm assuming this is powered down incorrectly, so it might need to go through. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right, well, um, <laughs> I guess this one did have a happy ending after all. Um, anyway, if you have any comments or questions, why don't you put them down below? Um, I will respond to, to everyone personally. Um, but, uh, you know, thanks for joining us and uh, please subscribe and happy endings do happen. <laughs> Thanks.